Hey everybody, welcome again to another cooking video. Today I shall be cooking a breakfast burrito. Uh, the ingredients for a breakfast, well, honestly when I make a breakfast burrito, I use a lot of different things, but today I'll basically be filling mine with uh, a yellow pepper, mushrooms, onions, and uh, this hickory sausage. Like I said, it varies with me because sometimes I'll I'll do maybe a yellow red pepper or just a red pepper. I might put some jalapenos in it. I might use some uh, just different type of sausages, maybe some turkey bacon. A lot of times I like to put some breakfast but, uh, potatoes in it. So I do a lot of just different things with it. So whatever you got for breakfast, basically just find what you can do. Chop all that stuff up. And like I said, with video magic, I'm chopping stuff up like I'm a professional. But you don't see all the craps and dangs and man, why is it not working like I want to? Because I'm, I'm actually getting better at my chopping skills, but I ain't, I ain't quite there yet. So maybe one one of these days, <laughs> once I'm actually chopping like a, pro a professional, I'll actually start posting when I'm chopping. Because right now, I'd be struggling for real. I'm like, why doesn't it work like I want it to? But it's all good. My food still be tasting good. And then once you get that, you get you three eggs and speed this up. Because you, know, you know how to scramble eggs. You just scramble some eggs in a bowl and you stir it up. Uh, if you wonder why I'm using chopsticks, uh, yeah, just mind your business. That's just what I do. Uh, <laughs> get a pan, put some oil in it. Once you get the oil, you want that oil to warm up a little bit, and you can put those vegetables in there. Right next, to it. I said just use just the onions, yellow peppers, mushrooms. I don't know all I had in my refrigerator. I wish I thought I had more, but I didn't. But the show must go on, so that's what I had to use, and that's what I used to make this burrito. It still came out real good, so I ain't gonna complain about it. Basically, just wanna get those veggies in there, and though as usual, the flavor guy gave us seasoning for a reason, so why not use it? <laughs> and basically, all you're gonna season it with is just some salt, black pepper, paprika, and as usual, I use that lyre seasoning salt because I'm addicted to it. It's a drug. I can't, I can't kick it. I've, I've tried to. And I gotta keep coming back to it. It's so good. So just season this stuff up nice. Don't don't go crazy with it, like I always say. And I put a couple of little red pepper flakes as well, because I want it, I want a little bit of kick to it. Stir it up. You wanna get that stuff nice and seasoned up. You just want those veggies to cook down just a little bit. Not too much. And uh, once you do that, just add your sausage to it. Cause that uh once that sausage starts like cooking up, that the oil from it's gonna mix with some of that veggie and it's gonna make it it's gonna give like a really good flavor. I just like I, just, I like cooked onions. Cooked onions are so good, especially when you have like some kind of like a bacon or something that you didn't use and you put that those onions in that, that oil from that will mix with the onion, especially if you have a sweet onion. Man, talk about some next level flavors. <sighs> so basically just want them to cook down a little bit. Look at that. Mmm, good old sausage. Looking, looking all good. Got it zoomed in so you can you can see the sizzle. You can't hear the sizzle, but you can see the sizzle as I'm cooking this. <laughs> so basically, let them cook a little bit by themselves. Uh, a lot of times I like to, I like to cook them separately for a little bit because I want to make sure the sausage is gonna get cooked well enough before I start mixing them both together. And this is basically all I'm just doing with this. And when I said while I was cooking, just I, was, I would say go do something else, but nah, because you don't want to burn it if you haven't actually done this too often. <laughs> you can just contemplate your life, your life choices and stuff before breakfast. Like, am I doing the right thing? I'm like, I'm doing the right thing. So, as, as you're doing whatever you got to do, just let the stuff, like I said, just cook down a little bit. Get nice and caramelized, as they say. I think it's, I think it's a cooking term. Yeah, that sounds like a cooking term. So, we're just going to use that. Get, get, most of you just want those vegetables and stuff get kind of cooked down some. You see those sauces kind of been cooking up, looking a little bit smaller, got some little crispies on the, on one end of it. That's what you're looking for. Once you get those nice and crispy looking, then you're going to mix them both together. It's like they're meant to be together. You've been keeping them apart this whole time. So yeah, we're going to mix those the meat and those veggies together, nice and colorful. I really did wish I had a red a red bell pepper. It would have really made this the colors pop on it. Oh, okay. oh look at that. Looks good. No, it doesn't look good. I bet you wish you had smell o vision. Like I said, I made this a couple days ago and I'm looking I'm looking at this video and I'm like, man, I wish I could have that again. But uh, and I said it doesn't really take long to make it honestly it's about maybe twenty minutes to make this. Fifteen yeah, honestly, if, if I wasn't videotaping it, I probably could have done this whole thing in about 15 minutes. So it's a it's a really quick thing, especially if you're not you're not a very good cook. 
Man, you make you make your girl or you make your boyfriend old breakfast burrito. You're like, oh snap! And like I say, I, I, sometimes you get you some get some sauce or some sour cream or something to put inside of it. Like I said once you get that meat and you know, those veggies kind of cooked, just put those eggs on the side. Let those eggs ground. We you know hit a little eggs, a little salt and pepper. What if like to season your pepper your eggs with? Sometimes I will put like a some chopped up green, green onions in those eggs, let it cook a little bit, then I'll just mix it all together. Yeah, you just want to get it nice and mixed together, like because basically the sausage and uh, the veggies are already cooked. You just basically get that cooked, and then get you a nice little tortilla shell. I try to get these weird organic shells. I should just stuck with the regular old flour, but now I want to be special. I put a little cheese. I didn't even have no shredded cheese. So I just use some regular old Lando Lake American cheese. Put that on your shell. Put your mix on that. And then I'm gonna use my my good old skills I learned at working at Taco Bell for four months, and we're gonna see if we can wrap it up. Hit with a little of that uh, a little hot sauce. Well, that's some taco sauce, like some Taco Bell hot sauce or whatever. I didn't have any sauce. Like I said, I really didn't plan this ahead. I kind of just wanted some breath and I wanted something different, and I kind of just made this. But this these old organic shells uh, was kind of just breaking on me. So like I said, I don't think I'm gonna be using these again. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the regular old flour ones. So we're gonna we're gonna try it again. That first one. They won't give you no act right. But basically, you just put your put the cheese down. You put your mixture that you just made on the shell, still hot, and you just gotta wrap it. Sauce that bad boy up. Like I said, if I had some sour cream, I would have hit it with some sour cream as well, cause uh, this, this is good to me. And you, like I said, just hit the sides, roll over. That's that's that Taco Bell training show right there. Fam, see, that came out a lot better. And if you gonna put that back on the grill, I I you want to toast it. The size of it, and it's gonna actually melt that cheese that you just put in it as well. Doesn't take to, take too long. Just kind of keep it on medium, toast it for a little bit. Look at that, that crispy size on it, looking nice and good. And once you do that, you're basically done. Uh, this is a very quick video, and as always, you guys like my content, just like and subscribe. Uh, name is Doc Macaro. That is D A R K M E K A R O. I also have a Facebook page. It is Cooking Dez. I think it's Cooking Dez. I keep changing my name up. But hey, everybody have an awesome day. I'm out of here.